Hi and welcome everyone to our video guide. My name is Ned and today we're going to be looking at all the different ways of sending an SMS notification from your Caspio applications. To send an SMS notification, you can accomplish that by either submitting a form, making an update, using triggered actions and tasks. And we're going to be exploring some of these options in today's video. In front of me, I have a patient registration form and what I'm trying to accomplish is to send two different SMS messages, one back to the patient to acknowledge their registration and one to the hospital staff to let them know and notify them that there's a new registered patient. So let's see how in Caspio we can accomplish that. So in Caspio, as I mentioned, you can send an SMS when you submit a form, when you make an update to a form, and in the reports, we have tabular, we have list, we have gallery, and we also have a direct to details data page. If each one of these in the details view is modifiable and you make an update, you can trigger an SMS to be sent out. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a submission form. We're going to navigate to our destination page, click on the messaging options, and underneath that, you will be able to see the ability to enable SMS. Keep in mind that in Caspi, you can also send an email notification, but today we're gonna to focus on sending an SMS. When you click on the drop down, you're going to find a list of your fields from the table. And obviously, we want to send this back to a mobile number, so we're going to select mobile phone. Underneath that selection, you have three different radio button options. The top radio button assumes that your phone number already contains proper country code in a specific format, or plus one is assumed in order to send that SMS to the proper phone number. Underneath that, we have a second radio button that allows me to append a country code. So if you're planning on sending international text messages, you can append a country code field to your mobile phone number field. So now we concatenate these two fields together so that the system knows that it's going to an international phone number. One thing I will mention about sending internationally, you will need to go to account settings. And in account settings, you're going to be able to see this tab for SMS. Initially, your list is probably going to be empty. But if you wish to send to a specific country, you're going to have to add that country to that list by choosing it here, and you're gonna be able to see credits per message and also sender name capability, which means it allows you to swap out the phone number with the actual sender name. Some countries do support that capability and other countries don't. Let's go back to our submission form. So back in my submission form, I can also append a fixed country code. So if I have a static country code, if I'm only sending to one country, let's just say for example, uh, I can input that value here and it's going to always send out to that specific country. Today, we're gonna to just focus on the top radio button. Underneath the acknowledgement SMS, we also have a notification SMS that we can send out. This allows us to notify somebody at the hospital, maybe a hospital staff admin or somebody, to let them know, hey, there's a new patient that just signed up. Here's some information for you to follow up on. So now on the following screen is where we can compose both of these two text messages. The first one is the acknowledgement that gets sent back to the patient that signs up on that form. So we could say something like dear, and then you can address that patient by their first name or last name by adding a parameter. You can do a comma, and now you can compose that message to let them know, hey, thank you for signing up. We received all of your information. Sincerely, hospital name. And on the second tab, I can notify somebody in the organization to let them know that the new patient just signed up. So I could put a phone number starting with plus one as a prefix and then continuing adding my phone number to notify somebody at the organization. You can also add a comma if you wish to add multiple phone numbers to send out that notification to different people. And then inside the body of the text, you can either add or remove fields as parameters depending on what information you want to share with the hospital staff. Next, let's go into triggers and see how we can also send an SMS using a triggered action. So when you're working inside tables, we have the ability to enable triggered actions, which allow us to automate procedures in the back end based on something that happens inside a table. So for example, if I'm looking at my patients table and I click more and triggered actions, I can create a triggered action. And this would allow me to have access to these elements on the left hand side. Under actions, I have the ability to send an SMS so I can include that in my trigger. And now you can configure this to work the way you want, depending on what happens inside a patient's table. You can also join tables together if you need to grab information from a different table to be used inside this triggered action. I can select the data and on the following screen, you're going to be able to see how we can configure conditional logic. So if the patient status changes from, let's say, new to pending, we can trigger that SMS to go out. I don't have a status field, but just imagine in my table, if I did have a status field, let's say the state is the status field and we change that to pending. 
Now we can trigger that SMS to be sent out by first including the field and then selecting the mobile phone number to be used when sending out the SMS. Now again, you can also concatenate the country code. This is optional. So if you are sending international text messages, you can include that field here as well. And now we can compose our text message to be sent out each time the status changes to pending for every single one of our patients that we have in the database. And the final option that we're going to look at is tasks. Tasks are event-based actions. And you can do things like sending an SMS maybe the day before the appointment to notify the patient, hey, your upcoming appointment is tomorrow. Here's all the information that you might need. So let's see how we can configure that. We create a task and we can run this task daily, let's just say. And we can run that task at midnight every single day. We click apply. Then we're going to choose our action to send an SMS. We click on the gear icon. Select from the appointments table. Now my appointments table does not have the mobile phone number field that belongs to my patient. So what I need to do is I need to join these two tables so that I can gain access to my phone number field. So we click on the gear icon. We select join. That creates the join for me. And now inside this field, which you'll see in just a moment, we're able to grab the information from the patient's table. But before I do that, we are also trying to accomplish something conditional here where I want to send that SMS the day before the appointment. So we're going to remove this field that we have here. And then using the date element, we can calculate the difference. So we snap that in place. And we want to calculate the difference in days. And the difference is going to be between the appointment date. So we'll move the field element and we'll choose our appointment date. And then we want to compare that with today's date. So under the date element, we can choose timestamp. Leave that the way it is. And then we're going to just simply type in one. Now the task is looking at the information that's one day before the appointment date. And it's going to send that SMS to the patient. So click inside this widget here that we have. Use the data element. Choose the field. And you will see that we have access to the phone number field. Because we made that join between our appointments table and our patients table. And same as before, now you can compose your text message to be sent out to the patient one day before the appointment. So whether you're sending text messages domestically or internationally, Caspio does have that capability using submission forms, update forms, triggered actions, and tasks. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. I have some related videos in the upper left and upper right if you want to see those as well to help you accelerate your Caspio knowledge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.